is Wabash Plain Dealer reporter Nick Van Heest bringing you tomorrow's headlines. Tomorrow's headlines is basically a sneak peek at what's going to be in the print edition of our paper tomorrow. Um, you can also access our articles online at www.wabashplaindealer.com. Links to our online articles can be found on our Facebook and Twitter pages. The first front page article in tomorrow's Plain Dealer is one I wrote um, about the 2014 primary election, which will be held on May 6th. Um, although the election is a few months away, filing dates for interested candidates uh, began this morning. Um, and uh, as of de our deadline today, uh, six candidates had filed um, to seek election in 2014. Um, one of these candidates was Sheriff Bob Land, um, who I spoke with about uh, some of his accomplishments he was able to to do uh, during his past term, um, and about some of the goals he hopes to accomplish um, if he is reelected. Next article in tomorrow's front page comes from reporter Eric Seaman, and uh, it's kind of a weather update. Um, in his article, he writes that commissioners, county commissioners, have lowered travel advisory to a watch, um, but the roads are still very slick and dangerous. Um, he spoke with uh, Wabash City Street Superintendent Scott Richardson, um, who said things are definitely improving. Um, another uh, aspect of his article, um, he said that uh, Metro and City and North Manchester schools have all announced that they will be closed again on Thursday. Um, as a sidebar to Eric's article is one from managing editor Joe Slation um, with some more uh, businesses and organizations around town uh, that are closed and uh, meetings uh, rescheduled. Um, one such place is the Winchester Senior Center, um, which was closed today on Wednesday. Um, and uh, they have canceled Friday's tailgate food giveaway. Um, and uh, Joe goes on to name a few other places that have cancellations and uh, reschedulings. Our fourth uh, front page article is another one by uh, reporter Eric Seaman. In it, uh, it's from a news release that uh, Indiana Attorney General Greg Zoller um, announced that he hopes to control the uh, population of Asian carp in the Wabash River. Um, and he hopes to eventually uh, eliminate the species. Uh, Asian carp is an invasive species and has been causing problems in the river. Uh, our first uh, story on our sports section in tomorrow's uh, Plain Dealer uh, comes from sports reporter Justin Shockey. Uh, Justin spoke with um, coaches of Wabash and North Manchester High School's uh, wrestling teams um, about their upcoming match on Thursday. Um, both coaches have been a, f a bit limited um, in their practice schedule due to the inclement weather, um, but he spoke with them about their preparations and about, uh, you know, kind of a preview uh, to the wrestling match. Well, this concludes tomorrow's headlines, so stay safe and warm this evening.